Hello, my amazing artist. Today we are going to use the art process of printmaking. We will be exploring how to create secondary colors by mixing two primary colors together. We are going to learn about printmaking and symmetry in this lesson. So to begin, write your name and class code on your paper and then turn it over. Now, fold your paper in half horizontally. So line up the edges, move your finger to the middle, and crease up and crease down. Then open your paper, and do you see this line in the middle? This line is called your line asymmetry. It means what is on one side will look the same as the other side. Now, Team Captain, you are going to get the red bottle of paint. You are going to open it, so flip open the lid, turn it over in a small squeeze to get a small little dot of red. Then, Team Captain, pass the red to the next person. Pick up the yellow, same thing, small squeeze of yellow, lid on and pass. And Team Captain, pick up blue, Turn it over, small squeeze of blue, lid on, and pass it to the next person. We are taking turns so that everyone can use the paint. When your paper looks like my paper, come sit down on the floor. Now we are going to add paint on the other side of the paper. So team captain, you will get yellow. You're going to put a little dot of yellow across from the red then pass it. Next color, Team Captain, get your blue, a little dot of blue, and pass it. And last color, Team Captain, red, little dot of red, and pass it. When your paper looks like my paper, go sit down on the floor. And here's the fun part, artist. Now you are going to close your paper like a book and you are going to massage your paper. You should feel that cold, wet paint under your paper. You can take your hands and really try to spread and massage that paint inside the folded papers. Now, if you have some paint ooze out like mine did, that is okay. That's probably going to happen. It might spread a little bit around, but that tells you that you're now ready to open your book. So open it up and voila, you have now made a mono print and you need to put it on the drying rack. Our final step we're gonna do today is to clean up our desks. So I will give you a paper towel that has a little water on it and you're gonna try your best to wipe down your desk so that there's no more paint. Please be respectful of the art room. And remember, someone's going to come sit here, so make sure it is nice for them. Hello, my amazing artist. Let's turn these monoprints into something else. So you're going to close your paper. You should close it on that crease line that is already there. And you are going to cut around on this paper. So look, I'm going to put my scissors on the side that is closed and start cutting. I'm trying to follow the shape that I see the paint has left. But if you have a hard time seeing that, you could also draw a line and then cut on that line. It's really up to you. I didn't really want to draw a line, so I'm just going for it in cutting. But notice, I kept my book closed the whole time, and at the end, ah, now I can open it. And look, I have made something that has a different shape. If you wanna have a little extra cutout, look what you can do. Take the closed edge, take your scissors, cut a little diagonal, diagonal, and it pops off. I'm gonna try another one, um, this time actually a circle, sorry. Go around and make a little circle. I do that by rotating my paper and chomping and rotating. Take some practice and I keep going until boop, it pops off. And then when I open my book, check it out. Ta-da, there's little cutouts. And once you have done the hard part of cutting artist, you may use scrap paper and the other materials in the back of the room to decorate your paper. 
So turn this into something. When I was looking at my paper, I saw a cat, or it kind of reminded me of like a raccoon. So I wanted to decorate it like a cat or a raccoon. And I'm drawing eyes on some scrap paper, making sure I color them in all the way, and then I'll cut them out and glue them. If you want to cut and glue something to your paper, please use the scrap paper. You do not need a full sheet of paper because our artwork is small for this project. So we can always use scrap paper for adding little details or designs to our art. And then today you should use the glue bottle. I like using the one that has the little brush on the inside so that I can easily glue down those little pieces that I have cut. I can't wait to see what you come up with, with your mono print that has symmetry, but the goal is to have each side look the same. So for example, I had three whiskers on one side, so I need three whiskers on my other side. Alrighty artists, I cannot wait to see what you create.